Now that you've seen my audience, here is my informative speech on bow racing. What is barrel racing? How do you start? What is barrel racing really about? You've heard people talk about it as shows. The sport was started when, wo when women wanted an event to compete in with each other. That would be a challenge, but still fair. They came up with the idea of taking Texas oil drums, 55 gallon barrels, and setting them up in a clover leaf pattern with one right turn and two left turns. Then they would take their husbands roping horses and see who could get through the course with the fastest time. Today barrel racing is more complex. It is an event that you and your horse have to be physically and mentally steady to compete in. It demands stamina, concentration, and synchronization from rider and horse. Just running fast will not win a barrel race, but it could get you or your horse injured. When you decide you want to try barrel racing, there are a few things you and your mount must know. Training for barrels takes time and effort on both your parts. You need to set a good foundation before you can actually take your horse to a show and start bringing in the ribbons. Your horse should know his leads, be supple, know woe very well, back up, and have acceptable transitions, meaning he should be able to go from a walk to a trot to a lope and down to a walk and stop needs his leads for making sure he can turn the barrels and keep his balance. Being supple is a must. Barrel horses are some of the most athletic horses there are. They go from running full force to stopping and turning a barrel tight to running full force again. Your woe is very important because your horse must have decent rate. If you don't slow down for the barrel, you can knock it over. Go wide and lose seconds off of your time. Backing up teaches your horse to disengage his front end and put weight on his hind quarters. This allows him to get down and get around the barrel. After you have a well-established foundation on your horse, you are ready to begin the barrel. Beginning a, beginning a horse on the barrel pattern is something you need to take your time with. Make sure you do it right the first time so you don't have holes from your training later on. Depending on the age of your horse, and what he has done before will vary. But usually it is a good idea to start with a snaffle bit. But most of the times, whenever you are currently using on your horse will work. But be careful, there are a lot of bits that are not good for training or barrel racing. First things first, do you have an arena that you're able to set up barrels? Don't worry if the pattern is regulation size for now. If it's available, try not to have the barrels on a grassy area. It can make it slippery for the horse and dangerous for the rider. Most people aren't able to, but if you can, find large tractor tires to put around your barrel. They are very helpful. The first step, start by walking. Walk to the barrel. And stop at your rate point. For a beginning horse, this is about 10 feet from the barrel by sitting down in the saddle. And if you have to, stopping your horse with your reins. Make sure you always stop at the same point. Repetition is what horses learn from. Then you back your horse up at least three steps or until he gets his hind end under him. Then sit slightly forward to ask your horse to go and walk around the barrel. Keep your horse a little wide and then bring him in as you leave the barrel. <clears throat> Stay straight in your saddle and don't look at the barrel. Look to your next pocket the area in which you will start to turn the barrel. Do this at each barrel and doing any type of practice. After you leave the third barrel, go left all the way to the fence and back down to start. This should only be practiced three to four times a week when you first start. You, want to, you don't want to sour your horse before you have even begun. The second says, after your horse has mastered walking the pattern and will basically stop on his own at the rate point, you can move on to trotting the barrel. Do the same thing stopping and backing up at your rate point. The same rate point uh, you establish in your walking exercise. Your horse should remember this. So now you're trying the barrels and walking around them. Make sure when you get to the point you start to move away from the barrel. Push your horse right into a trot 
so he knows that's when he's supposed to that he's supposed to move out. Do this at each barrel, making sure to go back to the fence after the third barrel. The third step. When your horse is well at charting the pattern, you can move on. Don't rush your horse into doing this perfectly. It may take quite a bit of time, and you don't want him to get bored. Make sure you do other things like trail riding, other events like poles, cones, and so forth. Go out on a trail ride, or at least out of the arena several times a week, even after you work on the barrel. So now, you can start loping the barrel. At this stage, it is going to be the time you will need to concentrate on lead changes between the first and second barrel. Most people can feel if their horse is changing leads okay, but if you have problems, have someone watch or, better yet, videotape you. If your horse naturally slows down at his rate point, you have made great success. You should now be loping between the barrels and trotting around them. Make sure you push your horse right into a lope after you leave the barrel, though. Repetition is your main training resource. By now, your horse should know the pattern pretty well. I would not put any serious speed for at least one year of showing. Rather, it be just exhibitions or small shows. Just get your horse exposed to running in different areas, and you're used to his reaction. When you're practicing at home, don't put a lot of speed on your horse, and don't do it often. Once your horse is well-seasoned, it, is, it usually isn't necessary for your horse to do the barrels between shows. One thing I always go, or one thing I always stress to everyone is, make sure you keep your horse's mind safe. Go on trail rides, go to a chain penning, do anything besides barrel. It will keep your horse and you happy. If you find any problem with, with your horse's pattern, go back to slow work and fix it before it gets out of control. Most of times, if your horse has problems, it is pilot error, but these things can be fixed. Most of all, bear racing is fun. You're being judged by the clock, and the clock only. Go out there, have a blast, and be safe. Thank you.